is a beautiful spring day here in Connecticut, although a little chilly. I have, actually I've been doing a lot in the last few weeks. One thing that felt really good to like check it off the list this weekend was a bunch of small sewing things that I needed to get done. So like my gray shirt dress that I made a few weeks back and I absolutely love, I wear this at least once a week. I absolutely adore this dress. It needed belt loops. So this weekend I went and made myself little belt loops. So I ended up making them out of fabric. I tried a few different options. I think making it out of the same fabric had it blending the best and I think the sturdiest. Because my other option was out of kind of like a crochet cotton, really thin wasn't going to hold up like I wanted it to, especially for frequent wear. So that felt good. Actually, this blouse, it needed a new button sewn on at the neck, just a little itty bitty one. So I took care of that. I did some mending on a couple of pairs of hand knit socks that had worn through, started to wear through. They weren't all the way through. So I did some mending on my knitting. It just feels nice to take care of stuff, you know? Better a stitch in time saves nine. So crossed a bunch of that off the list. But the fun stuff, the fancy bathrobes embroidery continues to grow. So the back is done now. I soaked it in yesterday and dried it. I am thrilled with how this is turning out. Absolutely thrilled. So this is the mandala that I was working on the last time we chatted. So that's done. And then I did the honeycomb fill in. And I added a little bumblebee just down at the very corner. So that is, that is the shoulders and the neck all done. So now I get to start working on the bottom. I unpicked the hem yesterday so the lining and the outer fashion fabric are can now separate so i can embroider on just the fashion fabric and then when it's all done rehem it and you won't be able to see my insides very excited so i'm probably gonna not gonna start the next section of embroidery right away just because i'm not 100% sure what I want to do or where I want to start it. I have a bit of an idea, but since I want this to look fairly cohesive, it's gonna take a little bit more thought. I'd hate to just jump in with a random thing I like and then have it cause me trouble down the road. So a little bit more thought, but in the meantime, <laughs> it's awesome. I absolutely love it and it feels great all the extra embroidery gives it this fantastic texture and weight so it just feels really nice on and then knitting last time we chatted about the Rhinebeck sweater I was working on the body the ribbing for the body right well that's done we officially have ribbing we also have one full sleeve and a good chunk of the next sleeve. So this is making, it's, honestly, I can't believe how fast this sweater is going. And that is probably because when I knit sweaters, I tend to go for the highly complicated, very technical knits because that's what keeps me interested. But right now, I mean, this is just, it's stockinette in the circle and it, you just keep going and going and going. So it is really delightfully mindless. It's kind of perfect for like watching a documentary or just, you know, in general, there's a lot of mental energy going into life in 2020 and 2021. So it's nice to have a bit of happy mindless creating time. I did do a fun bind off. So nice stretchy bind off. 
And yeah, I'm really enjoying this sweater. So it'll be done soon. I don't have a picture of it on me yet. Mostly because trying to take nice pictures of your own upper torso is challenging. But it's making good progress. The other thing I did last week was I went through the stash and this was primarily for you to send a yarn care package for new projects, but also it kind of turned into a dump out these drawers and kind of um, take inventory of what we have and then reorganize because they, they had gotten really messy and just balls were coming unwound and there was no kind of organization. It just wasn't wasn't a happy space. So um, I dumped everything out and sorted it by color. So now these are all organized by colors, which makes it super easy if you want a berry color, you go to the top. And you know, it, it's, what's Marie Kondo say? It sparks joy, it really does. It was also super inspiring to just see what we had and really remember all this gorgeous yarn and all the potential it has. So I had a lot of fun with that. It's also nice. I think I'm going to keep that in mind for the next time I kind of, you know, lose my knitting mojo. It works great to just dump out all your yarn and look at all the beautiful things and the infinite possibilities that they could become. So that is a general update about what's going on. There's a few others, but that's most of it. I did. I went to do some blocking this weekend of the my kitchen door curtain and then of Aunt Brenda's current kitchen curtains, which are for those who are not mom, or more of the gorgeous crocheted lace curtains. But I forgot that I don't have any more starch. Um, I used the last of it on the top curtain for mine. So I had everything soaked and ready to be blocked. And then I realized that I have no more starch. So <laughs> I have to go buy starch this week. And then those can be blocked and finished. And I know Aunt Brenda can't wait to have hers. And I am so looking forward to having mine finished off because they are stunning. Bye mom.